guys, Offitch here, and today we are back in City Skylines, and today we are going to be starting a brand new series. Yes, this series is going to be for Lakewood City. Lakewood City is a city I'm going to create. It's going to be a North American style city with a temperate map. So let's get started. So first off, what we need to do is we need to add some roads, like a regular city. So I'm just going to go add some dirt roads because they're cheap and cost effective. And in Lakewood City, I want this to be based off New York. But I also want, I don't want to like start off with high density stuff straight away. So I'm going to have a good timeline and I'm going to make lots of money. So now let's start by adding some power, a coal power plant. The most cheap way to get lots of power when you're first starting off your city. Now in City Skylines 2, although you won't need to get coal power plants, there is exporting. You still will need to get like more power plants like gas later in the game to produce your own power. So you can sell that off and export it to other cities. Now I'm going to be zoning because that's what you do when you start a regular new city. Okay, so it's been a while and there are some houses that have popped up. So I really haven't really seen many um, industrial or some shops, like some commercial buildings, but that might come soon. So many industrial buildings have popped up, but we do need to expand because we still need to fit more houses, more industrial buildings, and more people need to come into our city. Yes, we finally reached Little Hamlet with 340 people living in our city. We finally can get taxes, loans, although we won't use those, garbage, healthcare, education services, and new buildings like medical centers, schools, and landfill sites. We have now unlocked Worthy Village with 700 people in our city. We get a second loan with extra building space, unique buildings, fire department and police department. I probably need to get those first.
Now I'm going to build a nice park in the centre of our city. Hopefully that should bring more tourism and make citizens more happy. We have finally hit Boomtown. So with Boomtown you get more space, airport areas, transport like buses and taxis and lots of different types of monuments. Now I'm going to add transport but specifically buses. Buses can help our citizens get from point A to point B very quickly and it also gives us lots of money from what they pay. Now I'm going to expand again just to bring more people into our city. I think that'll wrap up this episode. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!